Hi there, it's Minecraft Grand, the Geeky Minecrafter, bringing you another episode in the Let's Play series. Today I'm on the Cherry Vanilla server, and I need to bake some pumpkin pies for my store, uh, which means I need quite a bit of sugar. And since I can't go borrow a cup from my neighbor every time I want to bake a pie, I want to put in a sugar cane garden, if you will, or farm. Uh, there is one here on the server, it's down in the spawn town, but I don't feel like running down there every time I need sugar. So I'm going to build one here inside the uh, the farming base, uh, here where my mine is, and that's what today's episode is all about. So I will be adding a deck to the front porch and building a sugarcane farm. I hope you'll join me for this episode. Let's get started. Hi there, it's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter here, and today I'm on Terry Vanilla going to build myself a sugarcane farm. Now, I could run over to my neighbor and borrow a cup of sugar every time I need it. He lives way over there. Well, <laughs> you are not going to believe this, but I just did it. I did it all thinking I was recording. It wasn't, so <laughs> my bad. So here's what I did. I, I dug out this tunnel. I laid down dirt. I put some infinite water sources in here. <laughs> And then planted my sugar cane. Uh, it's nothing special. It doesn't auto harvest. I just I just needed a place to come harvest some sugar, uh, you know, sugar cane, so I could make sugar, so I could make my pumpkin pies. I even made 64 pumpkin pies on camera for you. Now you missed all that, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I am so sorry. That was about I don't know 20 minutes. You know, me talking, okay, maybe less than that, more like, you know, nine minutes of me talking and walking around and, and building all this and, and uh, bringing you up to speed on what's going on. And you, I, I wasn't recording. I had paused it. So I'm embarrassed. So let's make some, uh, some pumpkin pies. I need to take it to and put it in the shop. Uh, I don't know, you know, how many I have down there, but it's time to maybe go take a quick peek. Here, let's put this in the weapons drawer. Um, this is the one he brought. He dropped. It's not much there, but I think uh, on a crafting table, can't you merge two? Here, let's find out. Let's take this one and this one and see if I can't make a better bow out of that. Yeah, it gets better. I now I do lose the enchant, but you know it gets better. Let's see. That's this one. Okay, so, as you can see, I have added a few things around here. Um, <laughs> I took you on the tour earlier. Sorry you missed that. Uh, I do have a couple of chickens in here that are laying me some eggs. Uh, and I took this number of chickens out of the cooker downstairs because there is a limit here of about 30 animals, uh, or 30 of any given mob type. Now, I didn't want to be in violation. Uh, and it's, you know, it's not necessary to have a gazillion. Uh, I'm just trying to make uh, make some eggs, and since I'm in here doing a lot of stuff, and it's you know as long as I'm within about a hundred uh, hundred squares or a hundred blocks of these guys, they're in here laying chickens for me or laying eggs for me, so works out really well. I have a, a upcoming project. I'm going to need some brown dye, uh, so I am planting some cocoa beans, uh, although. I have had trouble converting it to dye. I thought you just put it on the crafting table and it became dye, but no. So maybe if you know how to make brown dye out of cocoa beans, you'll let me know. Or maybe maybe it was there and, and they just changed the game mechanics because I swear I've been able to do this before just by putting it on the crafting table. And here's here's an example. Uh, this is this is not working. See, this should be. It should be dye, and it doesn't matter where I put it, or you know, if I make it full, it doesn't matter. So, not sure what's going on. Sure would like to know though. So if you do know, let me know. Okay, one other thing uh, that I took you on a tour of in this little time when I was recording and you weren't listening, uh, I have made a few improvements out here. Uh, I've lit this area up pretty good. I've put a dock boat, or uh, let's see, what is it? What would you call this? A boat ramp, okay, with some boats in here. Uh, now, I'm blocked off this way, so I am going to need to uh, go down there and dig it out. But the river does go down quite a ways this way. 
which means I need to lift this bridge some and maybe make a step down so that I can boat through here. I did put together a um, sleep, uh, fishing area right over here. I've discovered the joys of fishing. Keep my fishing rods in here. And as you can see, I've been fishing, been ga gathering quite a bit of fish. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get uh, a couple of cats because I've been told cats will kind of run off the creepers. And we all know I have a creeper problem. They blow me up all the time. So I'd really like to get rid of those. And having a couple of cats around, I've been told, will do that for me. Come here. Where did he go? Oh, missed. I got two of them. What? Oh, look at him. Come around behind me. Come on, come on. There we go. Whew. This, this happened to me on the first time when I came out to show you what was going on. Uh, I had a couple of uh, skeletons out here. Let's go get these arrows. Not that I need a bunch, but you know, I hate to just see it laying there. Okay, my good friend and neighbor... Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to point... Here we go. Let's try this again. My good friend and neighbor, Eric, who lives over that way, um, gave me a couple of horses. And I fenced in this pasture, built him a barn, put in a hayloft, and uh, bought a couple of saddles. And uh, the two Eric gave me had saddles. Uh, I've put together um, some golden apples and bred them and got two additional horses, which I've trained, tamed rather, and uh, put saddle and armor on. So I'm going to begin offering the horses for sale uh, as soon as I have enough. I'll, I'll put them in the shop and uh, they can uh, buy them and I'll ride them over to wherever they are uh, and then TP home. Okay, so those are the changes. Now, one of the other things I wanted to do was you see this little area right out here. I'd like to improve that. I'd like to make that a deck. Uh, and since I am going to have to lift this, I thought I'd do the whole thing as a deck that goes up over this little area of the river. Now I've got half slabs here so they can't spawn on this uh, and I've got carpet so I can jump in and out. I have the beginnings of a tiki bar that I want to finish uh, so I think I think that's what, what I plan to do. What I may do is go in and pause until it's daylight again because I am going to be knocking down my uh, fencing and my decking and uh, they'll just be able to wander up on me any old time they want. So I think I would like to wait till daylight. So I think while I wait, I will harvest this uh, stuff and put the potatoes in the oven, and I'll be right back. Actually, I think while we're waiting, um, I'll finish the tour. As you can see, I've added some additional storage. Uh, I also, with TMH's help, have... Uh, a little snowball farm if you will okay so I've got a snow golem in here and uh, as I pull this snow out that he leaves uh, I get a bunch of snowballs they go in the hopper the hopper fills the chest and then I'm able to uh, build snow blocks uh, or snowballs that I've begun selling in the um, in the shop in town <laughs> believe it or not there's so many kids on this server they love the snowballs they have snowball fights and they don't mind paying you know, for the privilege of having, you know, snowballs. So, you know, you go where the demand is. I, I've got a lot of uh, items in my shop that are not selling. And what I find really funny is some of the frivolous items are the ones that are selling the best. So, like snowballs and snow blocks and, and like that. So, let's put these back up in here. Okay, let's go ahead and while we're waiting, let's go ahead and uh, visit the shop and deliver the pumpkin pies. TP, here we go. Okay. So as you can see, I do have a couple of new items. I have uh, snowballs, and I have snow blocks, and I have just restocked this. Uh, I also have eggs and pumpkin pie. So let's do this. There's the pumpkin pie. Now this was full <laughs> just a short time ago, so pumpkin pie is a big hit. Um, it is, uh, like I said, one of the best foods you can have for restoring uh, your health. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. I'll let my hunger sickles 
you know, get pretty diminished, and then I'll show you what eating just one pumpkin piece of pumpkin pie will, or one pie will do for you. Okay, so that's it. Let me just check a couple of the fast sellers. Uh, wool is always... Oh, yeah, see, wool's empty. Uh, okay, so I probably need to go and uh, shear some sheep, gather up some wool. Again, in the area that I'm working in, it's all pretty safe. Oh, see, I, I did build a bedroom. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I did get that bed away from the wall right there. Uh, I just, you know, I, I haven't, it hasn't felt permanent. It hasn't felt like my house because I haven't done any decorating. So, believe it or not, it was, you know, it was time. Okay, so, I've gotten rid of all the, sh all the pigs. I, that's a mob I don't need. Uh, and it just seems like, you know, I'm, I'm wasting carrots and effort trying to keep them uh, fed. Okay, so we're going to shear the sheep first. This will give them time to have babies and regrow their hair really quickly. Sometimes I can get, you know, so I can shear some of the sheep twice, which is always effective. And they love this corner, and I don't know why. Okay, let's see if we can attract them out of the corner here. Come on, come on. There we go. See, I already sheared him. I get to shear him again. Okay, did everybody get, get a bite to eat? There we go. A couple more babies. A couple more blocks of wool. It's a beautiful thing. Let me do a quick count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, still within limits. You know, I've got plenty of leather. I'm uh, I'm trying to hold off on putting a bunch of, uh, you know what I'm saying, bunch of a uh, bunch of mobs in here. I don't want to be contributing to the the server load, uh, so I try to keep it down to only what I need to have. Now I really need more sheep. I'm wondering if they'd let me give up pigs and add to my sheep collection because wool goes fast see I, I don't even have enough well I have enough to do one stack in the shop yeah that's that's just gonna upset them uh, there's a pranking war going on so I find that uh, one of the best things that they're pranking with is wool so I, I can't keep it in stock um, okay so I think that's it so let's head home and lay out the uh, the new deck. Let's see what we can do there. Okay. So I do want to do this in the dark oak. I want it. I want it to be consistent. I do have a little bit of wood already. Already done. I do have a few stairs, one gate, and it looks like uh, a little bit of fencing. That's that's good news. Okay, so let's uh, let's make some more half slabs. What is that? 64 and 14. That's not quite enough. A couple of stacks of 64. That should do it. Oh, you know me and these single wide doors. I I have trouble with that. Okay, so let's figure out how high we have to raise this up to let the boats through. I see right now it's half a block above. So if I go up another block, am I going to be tall enough to let someone in a boat through there? That's that's the goal here. Uh, what's going on over here? We have a new building. <laughs> are those cameras? They look like those traffic cameras. And I have a pretty good view of the. Uh, uh, Didi has a couple of uh, hot air balloons up there, which is, I think, pretty fun, pretty awesome. Way to go, Didi. Okay, so. Gosh, 
gosh, I hate having to raise this. Maybe maybe I'll only raise it right in the middle. Okay, so this is about to here. So let's try just right through here. Just wide enough for a boat to get through. How about that? Okay, that's three, which is a block and a half. We'll do one more. We'll do two blocks. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I want to raise it. Here, let's go ahead and get rid of this because this is just going to confuse me. Maybe I can use it to stand on for now. I want it to kind of look like a drawbridge. Which means wood kind of in the center here, right? I want to go up again like this. Oops. Yeah, I have a turbo uh <laughs> a turbo axe. It's really hard to keep it from going just crazy. Let's see. Oh, it's not going to go through. I need to back this one up one. Okay, well, yeah, trial and error, right? I was hoping to keep that right there because it's, you know, it's kind of right, right on the edge. Okay, let's see. Tell you what, why don't we just lip it? We'll go here. Here. Oh, told you, a turbo. Flip it again. Oof. One, two, three, and then one, two, three back. What do you think? Flip it here too. Oh. Okay, one more. I like it. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Okay. No, that was wrong. Okay, why don't we put one underneath right here? Nope, don't like that either. Okay, how about under here? One more. Oh, hello. No drowning. Up. Oh. There we go. One more. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just go down. Let's just take it all the way down. Make it look like uh There we go. Make it look like a piling or something. Okay, so if I get rid of this stuff right over here, a boat should be able to pass right through, right? God willing, and the creek don't rise. Okay, a couple more. Okay, let's go try it. Let's go get in a boat and see if we can go. Uh, <laughs> what happened to my boat? Oh, are you kidding me right now? What am I doing wrong? Oh, come on. 
Okay, this is why I need boats, because I'm not very good in the water. Um, let's see if I have a boat I can put in the water. See, that's a that's a dispenser, isn't that right? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of narrow. Yeah, I don't know that this is going to work. Yeah, I see. Okay. Time to rethink it. All right. I think what I'm going to do is knock it all down and come off of this level right here and go straight out and then stare it down onto the property, on, onto the, the face right there. I think that's, yeah, I'm not loving it. But why not take advantage of it? We've got that area right, right behind me that's already raised. Oh, you know what I need? I need stone slabs. Um, let's let's go over here. Hope I don't run out of daylight. Good grief. Well, you know this is why they call it Let's Play because you're you know you're trying things out. They don't always work. Oh, I have plenty of stone, so let's just do that. Okay, that should be plenty, right? Oh, I'm losing daylight here. Okay, come on. Actually, I probably want to come in on this side, right? I want to have it set so that it's a little hard to get up here. I don't want the animal, the mobs, jumping up. Okay, so this level right here, right? Yeah, we'll just take these stones and go right there. That means all this has got to come out. I can reclaim this. Waste not, want not, right? You kids, you probably <laughs> you're probably too young to remember. My parents said that all the time. I don't know if it was because we were from a poor family or what but yeah you you did not waste food well my parents got upset so waste not want not all right I'll go underneath in a little bit and clean it up let's just see what this looks like this should give us absolutely free rain right through here I should probably maybe one more and then start heading down because I'm I'm far enough away, right? I really need to do that underneath, don't I? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, missed it by this much. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's go down one and over. Down one. And over. Come on. I'm going to have to do this from underneath, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. Down one. And over. Oh, I don't want that one, actually. Oh, good grief. Hmm. Sure did not allow myself enough room here, did I? Well, I can always move this glass back a little bit, can I? I 
I'm out of slabs. Oh, I'm also getting pretty hungry. This is a good time to show you how effective this pumpkin pie is. Are you ready? What do I have? Four and a quarter bars? One pumpkin pie. See? Four, four meat sickles. Sweet. I could probably do this a little more effectively with actual stairs. It'll be a little steeper. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move this corner back. Or I could move the whole thing over one. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go clean up some of this mess. Might make it a little easier to decide what's next. Ooh. Ooh. How am I going to get to my fishing shack? I think maybe it's time to put some more stairs in. Let's see. Do I have any dirt over here? Yep, a little. Yep. And I had thrown this down because I didn't have any dirt last time something blew up. You guys are watching for creepers, right? Because I'm sure not. I really need to go swimming and get all my stuff back. Okay. Okay. Yep, not loving that. Or this. Make this a little bit deeper right through here. Maybe I won't have quite so much trouble getting through here. Well, what is that? It's obviously not clay. Okay, just not loving this. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to pull it out here and then snake it back over and we're going to do this part with steps. How does that sound? Sounds a little better to me. Okay, I tell you what, I will pause the video while I rip all this out and I'll turn it back on when I'm ready to build again. All right. Um <laughs> I don't know what the best thing to do here is. I think I need to do here. Let's do this. Let's put one of these because I'm going to need to put a uh, an extra block right up here. The problem is I'm I'm one see I'm one too tall or half a block too tall right and then steps here can I do that yeah and then another another dirt block little temporary block here get out of the way let's put one right there come on oh good grief It's so totally my bad. I'm just now learning there is a there is a place that you can hit this thing. Oh, really? And it will uh it'll put it on the way you want, but man, you have to be exact. Let's see, one more of these. One more of these. Okay, so it's kind of a zigzaggy. Well, let's see if this works. Maybe I'll put a bit more of a canopy here. Now we're headed up. That's not too bad. Kind of stair steps down. Tell you what, let's just we'll just canopy the rest of this, and then we'll put together some stairs headed down to the fishing shack. Or I could move some vines over and just, just make this a climb down. That way 
even if mobs manage to get into this area, they won't be able to get up here. So I'll do that. I will move this over. Uh, I'll go in and get some more vines. Uh, so I can, or ladders, either one will work. Uh, so I can climb up and down there. Let's see, I did some reorganization. Are they in, see that's not, not only organics now. Here we go. Okay, so, oof. Boy, it doesn't take long to fill your inventory up when you're building, does it? Okay. See, I can get down that way, but getting up again is going to be a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to put these right here. See, that should give me what I'm looking for. And they'll grow in, they'll fill in for me automatically. Come here, I see you. Come here. That's right, one hit wonder, baby. Okay. So now that this works, now that we've got enough space down here for our boats, which, you know, I assume we do. I probably ought to check that. Okay, so my theory is, you know, I've got I've got some stuff to cut cut down there. Come on, turn around, turn around. Here we go. Let's see if we can get through here. Too deep, too deep. Don't, don't. Come back, come back. Huh. One more. I, I shouldn't have cut that last one off. Okay, but it is letting me through here, especially if I, you know, deepen this little reservoir. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? Did I lose it? Oh, no. Oh, I need a uh, one of these for it, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I think that's all we have time for today. I, I don't know how much time I'm going to be able to cut out with, um, you know, with speed builds and, and that kind of thing. But um, we I've kind of gone over the time that I thought I should have spent. So what I may do is just move this right now and uh, I'll finish the deck another time or heck I may finish it off camera okay because I am basically uh, I'm basically wanting to deck all this area in I want to put a tiki bar back here uh, maybe maybe lift it up a little bit put some vines some jungle wood um, I want this to be the party deck okay so I think I think we're going to call it right here. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, wishing you happy mining. Mm -hmm.